Heavenly Father, you are a Yahweh to us. You are the Alpha and Omega. And even as we sit down, we pray that you will speak to us in a language we can understand. For this is our prayer in Jesus' name. We may get seated in the presence of the Lord. Thank you, worship team. That was, whoa, that was awesome. And to God be all the glory. Si wame tuongoza vizuri? Unajua kuna pali mbio kanimeona meaka kama ingiakatwa yangu ningependa yake. Because she, yeah, yeah, naenda, ile ya kuenda, naenda, si tunajaribu kuenda hata atutoki chini. But I saw some of you really enjoying it. Uh, I spotted some of you and we are so glad that we can come to the house of the Lord and worship him. Last Sunday as we, we were still looking at the topic on honor, that I will honor God because it is a personal thing. It is me. I'm going to honor God. I don't know whether you have thought about yourself because God is seeking you not us. I know sometimes it's very easy for us to be in, in the us, but God is looking the you. And you can confess that I, myself, I, Kimani, I will worship the Lord. Amen. Uh, today, we, I, I want to pick it on another level. And today, I want to, to entitle it, Honoring the Father. Last Sunday we said that the weight we put into the word of God, then it makes something. The, the scripture for the year is, they that wait upon the Lord, they shall renew their strength. But unless I believe the one who have said it, a little earlier he tells the children of Israel, and especially Judah, Judah, why are you wondering and asking where I am? Why are you saying I have forgotten you? And he tells them, I... Jehovah, I don't faint, neither do I get weary. As far as God is concerned, he doesn't. And we pray that by the time we finish, we will see why it is important to honor our Father who is in heaven. Because he's the one who has written uh, the scriptures that we, we have been building on. Children love to brag about their fathers. But of course, the children have to be real children. Because when children are small, and I have said this before, I would come with a vehicle, even myself, I had not seen it. I just saw it once, and I'd never sat on it. And we went with Mark and we bought two. There were two in that showroom, two. He bought one, I bought the other. They are called Rexton. You know it, Rex? Rexton. So I come with it in church. First of all, at a mimisi, elevi sana. But when I land here, children come around and say, Bishop, is this yours? Then I said, yes. Then the, the small boys start talking to themselves. Say, ma, First of all, there were not many, but and then the other one say, Apana, kubwa kuliko. In other words, what they were trying to tell each other is that my father, nobody can beat them. Do you know when children are small, they 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 they, they, you, they don't need to worry. All what they need is the hand of the, the mother. If they are held with the mother, whether they are lions on the street, as long as there is someone holding their hands. They have a lot of confidence. So children brag with their father. And I pray that we, because we are the children of the Most High God, can we brag with our God? What God is able to do, because what men can, cannot do, God can. And what God can do, no man can do. So in other words, as these children talk about their father, can we talk about our heavenly father? I want to read First Chronicles 29 verse 10. To 13. Wherefore, David blessed the Lord before the congregation, and David said, Blessed be thou, Lord God of Israel, our Father, forever and ever. Thine, O Lord, is the greatness 
and the power and the glory and the victory and the majesty for all that is in the heaven and in the earth is thine thine is the kingdom O Lord and thou art exalted as head above all verse 12 both riches and honor come of thee thou reignest over all and in thy hand is power and might and in thy hand it is to make great and to give strength unto all verse number 13 now therefore O God we thank thee and praise thy glorious uh, name when, 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 when you pick it from where David is coming from David has discovered something about his father and the idea that God is viewed as our father here it's, it's, it's loudly proclaimed also in the Old Testament and the choir today God bless them they, I don't know whether they had uh, uh, they, uh, they had some ideas about what I'm going to share because they talked about it he is revealed as our heavenly father in the Bible the creator when he told us his name is Elohim the God of heaven when he revealed himself as Jehovah the Lord through his name Adonai the almighty when he, is, he called his name Eli the gracious giver when he is called El Shaddai the Lord who provides when we, he is called Jehovah Jireh our banner when he is called Jehovah Jehovah um, hmm, eh, eh. our banner when he is called Jehovah Nisi hallelujah the Lord our peace when he is called Jehovah Shalom the Lord of hosts when his name is Jehovah Shabaoth oh hallelujah the Lord our righteous as Jehovah Teskedu oh man these names are great the Lord who is always there for us who is called Jehovah Shama so David is saying I have a father there's somebody who sang I have a father he knows my name he sees my tears when the tears are falling and you're hiding yourself you have a father that is so concerned about you honoring our heavenly father honoring our heavenly father Jesus when he came to the earth actually he talked more about his heavenly father in relationship to what he had come to do I cannot do anything unless my father I am sent by my father I am going back to my father he talked about his father so much in the New Testament Luke 2 49 and he said unto them how is it that you sought me uh, was you not that I must be about my father's business John 14 verse 8 Philip said unto him Lord show us the father and he suffered us but Jesus is telling uh, Philip you, you already know you already know you already know so honoring God as our father we honor him as our father we honor him so King David couldn't contain himself as it is pertained to his father when he talked about him my father is almighty you know what if you pick him that God is your almighty that you pick God there is nothing that can defeat him then the mounting up you will have no problem you will believe him that has said it you will not believe the people no you will believe him if he says it it will come to pass either now or tomorrow or the day after tomorrow what he says will come to pass in 2nd Corinthians 6 18 and will be a father unto you and you shall be my sons and daughters says the Lord Almighty already the Lord is saying you are my sons you are my daughter what kind of an, an almighty father do we have how has he displayed himself as such he displayed his limitless imagination and design through his magnificent creation Genesis 1 and verse 16 he made the stars he demonstrated his power when he used a single stone and a teenager killed Goliath he demonstrated what he can do he showed his power when an old prophet prayed a short prayer of 63 words and fire came from heaven Elijah he demonstrated now we are saying if we will honor that father our father 
who is in heaven, who is able to save with many or save with few, our heavenly father, if we will honor him. He is the source of power from the multiplying of the molecule to the farthest reaches of the universe. He is the beginning of all power. He tells Judah, I cannot faint. In other words, I don't tire. He doesn't tire when he uses his power. He loses none. You know, why chaku sympathize na mungu? Hapotezi kitu. You know, when I was thinking about this, someone I got amused. I got amused because this. Lake Victoria sometimes dries up. Indian Ocean, never. Ata ukichota ndo, na ubebe na matrakta, na ubebe na matrain. That thing will always be in that level. Vile inakujaga, itakuja. Vile inaendaga, inaendaga. Si unawaja, kuna mahali unambio, usisonge baharini. Iki songa, inaweza songa na wewe. Na kuna wakati tunaenda kilometa kadhaa kuangalia wanyama huko wapo ni Mungu he has all that power so that is your father it doesn't matter how your earthly father was you know sometimes we don't know how to compare our heavenly father because we did not have an example of an earthly father but it doesn't matter we are all children of the holy holy one of israel it doesn't get it doesn't tire when he uses his power, he doesn't lose none. He never needs to be refreshed or renewed. He never needs a vacation when he gets tired. He never tires of the, needy of, the needs of his children. He never worries. He never worries or wears out. He in his responsibility. He is my God and he is my father, David says. Now, if that is your father, then Isaiah 40 and verse 31 we will not shake us or disturb us because we will renew our strength, he says it, and we shall mount up, he says it. Mimi siyo kuku, ama kifaranga. Mimi nitapa, amesema. Na saa hii ukiangalia tumatabitu wako, unaona tumatabawa wako ni kama hatuna nguvu. But I'm telling my mabawa, mutapa. Nyinyi, mutapa. Kwa nini? Mungu amesema na ninaheshimu neno lake, you know, I normally tell people this. When God says it, you believe it. <laughs> I come from a very, very, very good background. Blessed background. One time, I was going to a story. I was going to study a story. Everybody is thinking crazy nuts. You know, even today I still wonder, how did I say it? And I kept on saying it. And I kept on believing it. But two years after high school, niringia ndege. It doesn't matter, niringia ndege. If God can pick that boy from Karatega Akurino and cause him to fly out, you are a candidate also. All what you need to know is to believe his word if he has said it. He doesn't change his mind and he doesn't lose any power. He doesn't lose sleep. If he says it, he will do it. Lake Victoria can dry. But when he says he will provide water for you, he will. God, you're awesome. When he provided manna for the Israelites, the bakery process was enough. And he would give them more. Bakery, bakery, bread. He never lost any power. That's our father. You see, when, when the servant of the Lord is told, tell the general, don't fear the general, tell the general to dip himself in Jordan seven times. Because God has said it. Because once he has said it, then he will do it. Your part and my part is to believe it. He is our almighty father. If you believe him, you would say a better amen there. He, he never got a shock when he saw 5,000 men and children and their wives and 
And so when he just fed them, that's my father. You know, if you came to my house and you are 10 and you had not told us, we will have a little problem. Actually, it will be so big problem. If you are many people when you are coming, please let us know. We organize ourselves. But you know, there is one place that you don't need to say you are, go- you are coming. Go to your heavenly father in the morning, go at lunch hour, go in the evening. He has something for you. His strength pours out to you and it is not diminished. Much like the widow who poured the oil and filled one pitcher after another and another. And it was her. Niwe, it is her that had no more bottle to be filled. Some of us, Mungu ameanza kutubariki, but we don't have enough containers to receive the blessing that he has for us. So who should be ready? It's me. I need to be ready. He says, collect not a few. So you collect as much as you can. Na watu watakuita. Na we umeanza kuwa chokora. Do you know collecting chupa? Hata watu wanashindwa. Mama. Nini unafanya? My people, my chokura, unaonda, unaitisha machupa yote. But you know what? In a little while, she became the supplier of oil. She was told, sell the rest. Sell, pay, and the rest you keep. Hallelujah. I mean this. Our mighty heavenly father, there is nothing, and I repeat, nothing that your heavenly father, your mighty father, cannot handle in your life. Is it sickness? Is it finances? Is it marital problems? Is it habitual sins? There are is nothing. And I say nothing. You know you have a mask. You would have given your neighbor a good look and tell him because some of your neighbors are wondering. He mungu anaweza. And you can't tell him there is nothing. Yeah. Haya. Hakuna. Hamna. Mnajua hapa kuna mashuhuda mengi. Yule mama anaitwa nani? Sometimes we behave like we don't believe. I don't know. What do you need to see for you to believe? Yesterday I went for Robulac crown paint. And when I was there, somebody was making fun. He said, next time I come here, I'll be Mweshimiwa, MCA. And then he continued to say, because MCA is better than being a doctor. Unapewa pesa na unapewa zigine za gari. Now I never commented because I don't know him. So after my robulac paint was finished in the car, then I thought, these men don't know the most frustrated people in this country are people that tried to be an MP or an MCA or a president and failed. Number two, about your heavenly father. Because once you know about your heavenly father, the promise of mounting up, you will have no problem. You will believe him. He never gets weary. He doesn't faint. And he says, even those that wait upon him, after he renews their strength, they too will not be weary and they will not faint. That's a promise from our heavenly father. Your heavenly father is long-suffering. Long suffering. Numbers 14 verse 18. The Lord is long suffering and great mercy and of great mercy forgiving iniquity and transgression. Psalms 86 verse 15. But thou, O Lord, art a God full of compassion and gracious, long suffering and plenient in mercy and truth. So the question is, when was he long-suffering? Adam and Eve disobeyed him, and yet God was long-suffering. You are a child of Adam. God had a plan for Adam. 
Hallelujah. Abraham and Sarah loved at the promise of a son, but God was long suffering. He was full of compassion. You know, some of us have loved the promises of God, but God is still long suffering and full of compassion. He will still remember you. Kama angetu jaji vile tunafanyaga. Sinajua tungekuwa watu tuko nyuma sana. Because sometimes we pray and then it takes a little longer or the money you are asking is much that you cannot afford. Sasa unasema, Mungu, ni badilishie. Badilisha hiyo. I think you could mean here. So you mean it movement. Nafikiri you mean basikiri. And that is because you have enough 7,000 to buy a bicycle. But I refuse to tell God what I think he has told me. I want to believe God what he has said about me. He is long suffering. When Israel rejected him and chose other gods, God was still long suffering. They went into Babylon. He redeemed them. That's our God. It doesn't matter where I find myself. If he has promised He's my heavenly father. He is long suffering. He is full of compassion. He cares for me. Hallelujah. Even Peter, long suffering. And I deny Jesus Maratatu. Na Mungu bado anamkuta mahali akifisha na mwambia Peter, do you love me? Na Peter sasa hiyo anakuwa embarrassed kidogo kwa sababu hata breakfast amepewa na Mungu. Yeah, I can afford breakfast. You know, one of the easiest meal and the cheapest meal is breakfast. You ask me, I'll tell you. Ilikuwa uji peke yake. Cheap breakfast. Lakini Peter even uji peke yake ange afford. Lakini natoka kufisha na kuta amewekewa samaki. Hebu ni kuulize. Wewe uko hapa unaniangalia. Usha kula samaki choma. Huelewi, hujui. Sama kichoma, hata mifupa unayona. Oh, sorry. Appetite hapo. Hapa mnasikiaji. He is long suffering. He is long suffering. It means that he is patient with you and that his love can never end even when you may have spoken ill about him, failed miserably in your temper, Reverted to your old freshly way or done what you said you never do it again. Yani unajikuta kwa dhambi unasema thirudi tena na unarudia God still loves you. He is your heavenly father who is long suffering. Is he not wonderful? Can we give him a, a mighty hand in the house? <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yes, he is long suffering. Isaiah 65 and verse 2 says this, I have spread out my hands all the day unto a liberious people, which walketh in a way that was not good after their own thoughts. Yani, hata sa ile tumeenda baya. Mikono ya buwana hiko na mnahi. The prodigal son, baba yake, ako hivi, anamsubiri siku ataka vyorudi. That is our heavenly father. Long suffering, God full of compassion. What he has promised, he will do it. God does not rely on our faithfulness to him. He relies upon his own faithfulness. You know, there is a truth there that every married couple, if this can get into you, you will not demand it from the other. You will give it from yourself. That you will seek to be faithful to them even when they are not faithful. Of course, you can put a debate. This is what they did to me, but I'm telling you, God does not depend on my faithfulness because I am not he just loves me. Even when I fail, he still loves me. Even when I say, sorry, I will not do it again, and I do it again, he still loves me. You know, somebody said this uh, somewhere. I can't remember where. Maybe he kukusao nayo. Mtu wa kikukosea, umusamee marangapi. Oh, it is good. Apa. Naswali the kaulizo. It is good. Apa. See, you at a see on Bali. It is good. Apa. Papu peti itu. 
na tukasema na kibeda kweli kabisa 7 times 70 kweli kabisa Moses hata kama umeamua utanikasirisha mara 490 one day sitakupa muda I will not give you the whole day no nitaku nita, 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 I mean <laughs> So that what God what what the, the writer is trying to say is that you 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 your forgiveness in terms of forgiveness should be limitless anything done you can forgive now i know how hard it is because even the preacher said kuna watu hapa akikuona amekusamea lakini akikuona anahepa ama roho inaruka lakini amekusamea lakini anastuka kidogo We have a father who is long suffering. He has desired to help us. Hallelujah. First Thessalonians 5 and 24 the Bible says faithful is he that called you who also will do it. In other words, amekuita ni mwaminifu na kile umeomba atakupa. That's our God. Long suffering compassionate. Verse The Thessalonians second the lost Solonian 3 and verse 3 But the Lord is faithful who shall establish you and keep you from evil How grateful then we as the children of God should be in knowing that our heavenly father is long suffering and he loves us and cares for us we will walk with a swag if there is something like that knowing that I have I have a father. That does not mean you'll be proud, but simply means you will know that what he says he will do and it doesn't matter because it doesn't exhaust his resources. Number three. My father is righteous and just. My father, Genesis 18:25 Abraham proclaimed, shall not the, the judge of all the earth do right? Does this mean that my heavenly father is never merciful? No. It means that he is merciful and just in a righteous, consistent way, not arbitrarily, not subjective way, but he is just and he is righteous. God's compassion flows out of his goodness, and goodness without justice is not good. So God spares us because he is good. But he could not be good if he was not just. If God said let every thief and every every uh, evil person let everyone come to heaven. He would violate his justice and cease to be good because God can be both just and can be both merciful. That's our father. Psalms 89 verse 14 justice and just and judgment are the habitation of thy throne mercy and truth shall go before thy face that's our god psalms 85:10 mercy and truth are met together righteousness and peace have kissed each other romans 6:23 for the wages of sin is death but the gift of god mercy of god is eternal life in the same same context that's our heavenly father the verse helps us to demonstrate both the justice and mercy of your father and my father sin has a price because we are all sinner justice must be met because of iniquity of men we don't measure up to god's standard of righteousness a price must be paid yet he comes and he says i want to be merciful and bring mercy to you because the bible says god commanded his love towards us in that while we were yet sinners christ died for us So we see both the justice and mercy of God together. Justice, sin must be paid for. Mercy, Christ died for us. Easy, your heavenly Father has paid the price for you. Yes, they that wait upon the Lord, they shall. Why? Because our heavenly Father has said so. And I'm going to believe and build his word and cause weight to be upon his word. Number 4. My father is loving. Do you have a loving father? I do. I have a loving father. John 1 John 3:1 the 
Behold what manner of love the Father has bestowed upon us. That we should be called the sons of God, the daughters of God. However, some may say, where is God's love when I go through the storms of life? Where is God when Corona hits me 2020? You know, where? You know, and we put a lot of argument on that. Isaiah 43 verse 1 and 3 says, But now says the Lord that created thee, O Jacob, and he that formed thee, O Israel, fear not, for I have redeemed thee. I have called thee by thy name. Thou art mine. When thou passest through the waters, I will be with you. And through the rivers, they shall not overflow thee. Oh, hallelujah. Thou, when, when thou walkest through the fire, thou shalt not be burned. Neither shall flame kindle upon thee. In one sense, you could say this. That God loves me too much, or he loves us too much to keep us from the storm. And because he loves us so much, he cannot leave us in the storm. Are you confused? I'm saying God loves us so much. He puts us in Corona 2020. But God loves us so much, he cannot let us stay in Corona on 2020. That's what, what I mean. That God loves you so much, he allows it, you to be there. But he loves you so much, he will still cause you to go through. That's the point. I have a father. Do you have a father? Do you honor him? Let's honor our heavenly father because when we do, our life will never be the same again. Sinipeane kamfano kadogo warafu nimalize. Nimalizia hii kitu. Kwa sababu mambo ya baba ni mzuri sana. I think it's Alice who gave that uh, illustration. Mtoto amebeba kamfuko kake amesimama in the wrong place. Anagoja gari lakini amesimama in the wrong place. Mtu anakuja na mwambia, "Son, are you, you 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 want to travel? Yes. The the stage is over there. Iko pale. Enda pale." No, the, the young man says, no, I'll just wait here. It will stop here. So this man is still pleading with the boy. See? And then the bus came and stopped. So they both entered. Where the boy sat, this other old man came and said, why, why did you say the bus has to stop here? And the boy said, because the driver is my father. Do you know what that means? That you can wait for God anytime, anywhere because the driver is my father. I'm asking again. Do you have this heavenly father? Do you love this heavenly father? Have you given your life to him? Then if you do, then the promise in Isaiah 40 and verse 31 will be true for you. I have a father. Do you? Do you? Do you have this heavenly father? Let us pray. Our gracious heavenly father, if there is anything we can learn from David's life is that he talked about you and he gave us all that we need to know about you as our heavenly father. Full of compassion. Full of love. And you don't exhaust there is no one person that can exhaust, can, can, can take all the love that you have, that we have nothing else. You have in store for us all that we need. And dear Father, because you are our Father and you are driving this bus of life, we know we can enter even now. If you're in this church or listening or following us from the Facebook, I want to ask, if you don't know this father, would you want to know him? Remember what we have finished by saying. We are saying because of loving him, then we know from wherever I am, he will stop for me. And he wants to stop for you. Would you like to pray this prayer with me? Whether you are here or at home. And after you pray, there is a number. There is a number that I would ask you to call so that somebody can 
help you. Just close your eyes and pray with me. Heavenly Father, I thank you that you are my heavenly Father. You love me and your Father, your love is awesome. You gave your Son for me. And today, I open up my spirit. I ask you, Lord, to come into my heart. I ask you, Lord, that you deceive me. I ask you that you would write my name in the books, in the Lamb's book of life. I ask you that you will be my savior from today. And I want to thank you for saving me. I'm a child of God today. In Jesus' name. Our Heavenly Father, I pray for everyone who has prayed this prayer, whether in this church or at home. Father, we pray that you connect them with a good pastor, either one of, if, you call, if they call us, we'll connect them. But if they are not from this church, and connect them with a man of God, a woman of God, that will help them to grow in this Christian faith and walk as a member of your family. We thank you for your word. We pray, dear Father, this week we will honor you. What you have said about us will believe because you are God and you don't change your mind. What you have said you will do and you walk in justice uh, before you and mercy. I want to thank you and to give you praise for this we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's give the Lord praise in the house, shall we?